Frank Herbert was homophobic. The author of Dune, the 1965 novel, Frank Herbert, was homophobic. And this is something I've struggled with quite a bit um, in terms of supporting these last couple of films. I'm going to see Dune 2 this week. I really enjoyed Dune 1. I like Denny's take on these characters in this world. A lot of the people involved with the movie I, I really appreciate and enjoy. So I've struggled a little bit with this. Uh, you know, before the first movie came out, I did a little bit of digging uh, about Frank Herbert because I was considering reading the books. I'd never read the books before. My first introduction to Dune was the 1984 David Lynch film. So I didn't know a lot about the source material. So I thought, I'm going to go and find these books and try to get through them, right? I know it's tough. <laughs> a lot of people say it's a tough, tough read. Uh, but as I was going online and reading on forums and, and things, I started to find out stuff about Frank Herbert that made me a little apprehensive on supporting like the, the actual source material, the, the original books and the fact that he was extremely homophobic. He was apparently very conservative and I don't think he was actively doing things uh, from what I can tell to get in the way of, of gay people's uh, equality. Like as a, I don't think he was out like picketing, boycotting, whatever. I don't think that's what was happening. I couldn't find anything like that anyway. But one of his sons, Brian, wrote a memoir where he talked about his father and talked very candidly about Frank and his brother Bruce's relationship. Now, Bruce Herbert was a photographer uh, who was gay and was, was open with his father about this, and uh, his father rejected him. Frank rejected him and did not speak to him, had nothing to do with him. And uh, Bruce and Brian have both talked about it and said it was because he was gay and that his father didn't want to have anything to do with him. So he rejected his son for that reason. And uh, Bruce uh, died, unfortunately, of pneumonia related to HIV AIDS in the early 90s. And, um, you know, that's kind of the legacy of this relationship between the two of them. So what does that have to do with, like, Dune and the books? So this is the character of Baron Harkonnen from the more recent adaptation, uh, Denny's ap adaptation of this. And uh, in the books and I'm going to be very, very careful about how I talk about this because of YouTube's rules. Uh, Baron Harkonnen is a gay man, the only gay character in Dune, as far as I can tell. Again, have not read the books. If somebody has, correct me on that. From what I understand, he's the only gay character, explicitly gay character in the books. He's portrayed as a evil, sadistic, murdering, uh, fat, disgusting guy who has, again, I'm, I'm skating around YouTube's rules here, a fetish for very young men. And it goes further than that, but we're going to leave it at that because that is YouTube's rules. So anyway, that's the character's portrayal. And because this book was written in the sixties, it was written during a time before Stonewall, before the 1969 Stonewall riots, before gay liberation, it was probably very common to take an evil character and, and either gay code them or just make them gay because it was a very different period where that kind of stuff was like propagated and pushed out in the media. Like the like gay characters are evil. So this is what we're going to do. So he wrote the character that way in the books. And it seems like that was a culmination of how he just sees gay people in general was Baron Harkonnen. Now, of course the vision of that character changed slightly in 1984 and Denny has gone on record saying that he changed the character in modern times so although the, these stories are based on Frank's books, they are changed by the people making them to sort of, I don't know, shift them for more of a, 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 a current climate. But I struggle a little bit with it, right? Is this a, a Orson Scott card situation? Is this a J.K. Rowling situation? Like, how do you navigate this? Do you support this media knowing that this is uh, how Frank felt and why he made this character? Is this like a, a time where you separate the art from the artist? Like you, you go, hey, look, they made great stuff, even though they were, you know, bigoted or whatever you want to call it towards whatever community, anti, uh, anti equality. How do you navigate that? How do you get around that? Because this, this character, Baron Harkonnen, is a representation of what Frank thought of gay people. He put that all into his book, uh, into this character. And knowing what he did with his kid, I'm like, he disowned his kid for being gay. And then his kid died 
not knowing his father, uh, you know, knowing whether his father cared about him or not, which I'm assuming he didn't because he disowned him, you know, in the 90s. Um, his brother said this. It's a tough, tough situation for me as as someone who is excited about seeing the second film. Now, I knew about this before the first film came out, like some of it, not all of it. I've done some more digging. Um, I kind of knew about this. And I went and saw it, and I didn't hear anybody else talking about it. And I'm like, so maybe, maybe I'm overreacting to it. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Uh, or maybe people don't know. Maybe it's not a well-known thing. You know, maybe people didn't look up this information uh, before they went and saw the movie. I'm not totally sure. But the reason why I'm bringing it to you guys is I'm a little bit torn about it. And so I want to know, honestly, in the comment section, did you know about this? Is this something that you were aware of? What do you think of Dune, the series, the new series? Did you see the original back in the 80s? And does this change your opinion about the art? Because I know some people struggle with Harry Potter. Harry Potter is Harry Potter, Potter. Harry Potter is a big one where people grew up with Harry. They grew up with the series. They hate what J.K. Rowling represents, but they really love the world that was created and the fandom surrounding Harry Potter. Uh, is that is that a similar situation that that you know that's what's going on here with Dune? Do you just go, hey, this world is amazing. The characters are amazing. These are artistic takes on this world. Is is that okay? Or do you say, you know, I'm not going to support this? I, I, I'll i be honest. I am definitely struggling because it's my birthday this week. And I was really, really, really excited about seeing Dune 2. And now I'm seeing people talking about this and it's making me nervous. Like, is this, you know, what does this all mean? Um, how does this work? How do we navigate this space? Anyway, that's pretty much where I'm going to end the video. I just don't have much else to add. I wanted to talk about this quickly and just kind of get it out there to see if anybody else sort of knew about it. If you felt the same way, if you're, is this the first time you're being introduced to this? How do you feel about it? Um, because I truly would like some other opinions. <laughs> I need some other opinions on this. So I'm putting this out there for the world to see where it goes. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, uh, by the way, I want to thank all the new subscribers to my channel. You guys are amazing. I'm seeing my channel like really kind of blow up and I'm really excited about that because I have so much more I want to talk about. We're going to start doing live streams, scheduled live streams every week. So get ready for that. Uh, there's If you're not a team member, if you're not joined up now, you're missing out because you get early access to some of my videos during the week. They'll go out like literally 24 hours before they go up for everybody else. And all of my previous live streams are available for team members. So hit the join button and become part of the team over here and uh, help support the channel another way. That's pretty much it. I am out of here. Everyone have a great weekend. I will be back on Monday with some new videos. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions on this. It's pretty wild, right?